we're on, and uh, we're just wondering here, uh, as I'm stuttering <laughs> through this interview, um, how the chess program came about for the chess library, and we have Yuan Ling, and we have Joey, her assistant. Joey, your last name? Uh, Quinn. Quinn. And maybe they want to talk a little bit about how things are going with the chess library or where it began. Hey, so hi everyone. My name is Yuan Ling. Um, I'm a woman international master, and um, we're currently doing this interview at the 2010 Montreal Open. And I'm Joey, and I'm a Canadian master and candidate master. And um, I was introduced to the program by Yuan Ling, and now I'm starting a new branch in Ottawa. Yeah, so um, the Chess and Library program first started in June 2009, and it's basically an idea of mine because um, I wanted to promote chess in Canada, and I've been to a lot of places in the world, and I've seen how other countries treat chess, and I want to do something that makes chess more popular in Canada. So uh, I was thinking, what should I do, you know? Well, and suddenly one day the idea popped in my mind like maybe we could run chess clubs in libraries and also because library is um, is a public space and um, sur like the environment surrounded by books so I thought it was like really related to chess because it's a quiet place right so it's like okay why not do it there so I brought my idea to a librarian um, the branch head at the library that's right beside my school and we like talked for about a month yeah we talked about it for a month before we finally got it going and um, in the beginning she was like well you're just a 15 year old girl I mean can I trust you right so that was a problem but I had to prove that I was trustful in the beginning and um, and now the program has been going to Ottawa so maybe Joey wants to talk about that uh, so when I was first introduced to the program, um, I was I thought it was a really good idea, so I immediately contacted the head of my library branch, um, which is in my community, and I expected a long conversation, and uh, I thought I would have to work to get the program in the library, but it turns out I was wrong. The librarian, she said that uh, sometime before, another person had tried a similar thing, but um, he didn't run it well and it ended up not going so well. So she said uh, she thought if I could assure that um, I would continue this program, she would support me uh, all the way. And that was how it got started. How long ago was that? Um, it was in the middle of summer. This summer just passed? Yeah. Wow, so it's really recent. Yeah. And this stuff yep. is taking off, it sounds like. Yep. Well, I actually didn't know about the part where um, someone else tried doing it. She said it. it was a long time ago, like five or six years ago. Someone had made an attempt, but it didn't work out well. Well, how come it didn't work out? Because he didn't advertise it well, and there uh, wasn't enough people attending the program, so you had to drop it. Okay. So what's the enough... What does she think is enough, like, people to get the program going? Like, 10 or 20? Or she thought... Um, like, how many people is good enough? She thinks around 15 or 20 people 15, 20, is okay. a good start. It's reasonable, yeah. Because at the first library that ran Chesson Library Program, we had about... 20 people in the first um, session and then afterwards it, it just became like so popular it was like 30 people uh, every week for like the whole summer so we actually had to worry about like the equipment and not enough chess sets <laughs> so I know it's crazy because in the beginning I was worried like nobody's gonna come nobody's gonna come and now it's like we're worried about too many people coming <laughs> so but now the numbers have reduced because um it becomes a more regular thing. It's not like, you know, when something's new, it's like people, you know, tend to like, oh, 
I'll go there. But then after a while, it just there's like a group of regular people that comes, and it's about like numbers are around um, at all of our eleven locations right now. About fifteen ish is our average. So it turns out that they say in, in where I come from, which is applied social science, that fifteen is the stable and ideal number <laughs> for project groups, mm -hmm. and it always seems to. Yeah, it's just yeah. a, a thought. You know, it happens that way. And it naturally is the most comfortable level they, mm -hmm. they find for, a, yeah. for a, a social gathering. Anything more than that, it's strange, isn't it? But anyway, go, go ahead. I, I just thought I'd throw that yeah. in. So when, when, how long did it take you to fully establish your first bench and move to the second? Um, well, um, so I talked to the librarian in like May 2009, and we talked and we talked and we decided that by June 20th, 2009 was our first session. I remember that number clearly because it was like a big thing for me. So, um, and then actually after like the whole summer, two months, um, we pretty much, it was pretty stable, like 30 people. And, um, and so then I thought that maybe we could expand this program to other libraries because in Toronto, there's a total of 100 public libraries. So I was thinking, you know, maybe we could do it at other branches. So I talked to, so I went to other libraries and then I, um, I gave them the flyer and gave them the information and tried to get the program started up at two other libraries that were, uh, that were also near me. So it took about.